everyone welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna to be doing a full face using drugstore makeup so we're just gonna jump right in and get started so today I'm gonna to be moisturizing my face with Neutrogena's Hydro Boost my all-time fave we're gonna be priming the skin with Maybelline's baby skin instant pore eraser The foundation I'm going to be using today is L'Oreal's True Match. And I am in the shade W7 Caramel Beige. I know that looks like a lot, but it's very blendable. I'm just going to blend it out with the Beauty Blender. Oh no, I got it in my hair. This is why I should use headbands. So all my baby hairs get in the way. So now I'm going to be concealing my face using NYX Gotcha Covered. And I am in the shade Medium. Now I'm just going to be blending this out with another beauty blender. So I'm a light concealer, but it's okay. We're going to bronze up the face, make it even. We're going to make this work. Now we're just going to set the concealer so we don't look all creasy with some Cody Airspun. And again, I'm just going to take it with another beauty blender to set under the eyes and start baking. Ooh, my face is crooked, huh? <laughs> That's okay. There we go. We're going to set the nose because the nose is where I'm really oily. Now, while we let our face bake, I'm going to move on to the eyes. Today, I'm going to be priming my eyelids with the NYX Eyeshadow Base. Normally, I would use a brush for this, but I'm just going to take my finger to warm up the product. I'm just going to place it all over the eyelid and blend it out. Well, I went backwards. I'm supposed to do my brows first and then prime my eyes. That didn't happen. So what we're going to do it now. So I'm going to be taking the e.l.f. eyebrow kit in the color medium. I feel like back then my eyebrows were thicker, like fuller. They weren't as sparse as they are now. Could have been my fault though, over tweezing or something. It's not very pigmented either, huh? Ooh, there we go, there we go. Alright, we have a brow, ladies and gentlemen. Now we just need another one. I feel like I'm picking up so much product on my brush, but nothing's coming off. I swear eyebrows take the longest forever. I don't like it. I feel like it's so sparse right here. Oh wait, wait. Sure. Now I can continue going back to the eye makeup. We're gonna use this NYX Ultimate Eyeshadow Palette in Warm Neutrals. Look how pretty those colors are. I'm just gonna do something super simple. Just pop in a crease color and then pop on a lid color. For the crease, let's go in with this one look like? Ooh, 
Can we do this one? Oh. Yeah. Let's go in with this color right here. And we're just going to blend that into the crease. We're going to take a shimmery color and this color right here. We're going to place that all over the lid. Now we're just going to go back in with that brush that we used earlier for our crease color and we're just going to blend that out. I'm gonna blend it out and up. So the more up you go towards your brow, you want to make sure that your hand gets lighter, and you don't want to like push and stab your eye. We're gonna go in with one more blending brush, and we're just gonna blend. I feel like it's not blended a lot up here, so. And I know you usually put a brow color or a brow bone color, but I'm not feeling it today. I got my eyebrows waxed, so I feel like I should show them off that they're nice and clean. Ooh, that is pretty. Moving on to eyeliner. So I'm going to be tight lining with Revlon's Wet Dry Eyeliner in black. And then I'm going to be going in with Rumble London's Scandal Eyes in Nude for my waterline. Oh my god. Ooh, it's so creamy. I forgot how creamy this was. And now we're just going to curl the lashes and pop on some mascara. We're going to be using, um, I think this is L'Oreal Paris. L'Oreal Paris Voluminous Million Lashes. Guys, this stuff is so good. Today's lashes that we're going to use are Ardell's Lashes in 600 Black. I believe this one is the Wispy line. I think. Uh, I took off the tag and threw it away because it was in my way. The glue that I'm going to be using today to stick on these babies is the Duo Brush On Adhesive. So it's the one that's in the green box. I only like it because I don't like the squeeze tube and I like this little brush. It's easier for me to apply the glue because when I use a squeeze bottle, woo, it went everywhere. Okay, whatever. Lashes are on. So now I'm just gonna dust off all this baking powder and then we're gonna bronze up and contour the face. Today I'm gonna be contouring the face with ELF's Contouring Blush and Bronzing Powder. Oops, that's a lot. Okay, that's what blending's for. That's what blending's for. I'm gonna rough contour the nose today. That was bad, 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 bad idea. I'm so gonna have black nose now. We're gonna blend all this out. And now we're gonna bronze up the face using Wet n Wild's Color Con, Color Icon. Wet n Wild's Color Icon in Ticket to Brazil. Swirl that in there. Needs to bronze up the face. If you have a larger forehead like me, you're gonna wanna contour and bronze up the top of your head so it gives the illusion of looking smaller. See the power of makeup. So fun. 
Okay, now we're just going to add some blush. And today we're going to be using e.l.f. Cosmetics Blush in Mellow Mauve. This is my all-time favorite blush, guys. Like, you see, I hit pan big time. It's my favorite blush. It's so pretty. So pretty. It has this like really nice iridescent pink color to it. Oh. Don't worry, I'm gonna fix the nose. It's bothering me too. And then I'm gonna be highlighting my face with e.l.f. Cosmetics again. And this is in the color Gotta Glow. Can you even see anything? Oh yeah, you can. Very, very subtle. It's okay. I ain't going anywhere. Okay. Gotta fix up this nose. I apologize. I'm just gonna dip my brush into some air spun and bring it back down my nose. Let that sit for a little bit. And brush. Brush away. Hopefully that helps. <laughs> okay, now going back in with the highlighter. I'm gonna bring that down the bridge of our nose. And right at the tip. Woo! That is a lot. I look like I have a very wide, girthy nose. Onto the lips. So for the lips, I'm going to be taking Jordana natural lip liner to line my lips sorry guys I think my camera cut off or it turned off so I don't really know what you missed but right now I'm going in with Rimmel London's Provocalypse 16 hour lip wear in the color 750 Heartbreaker. Just gonna add some mascara to the bottom of my eyes because I look creepy as. And there you guys have it. This is my full face using drugstore makeup only. Alright, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.